a November 15th press conference, the Louisville University head football coach pinned the blame for his team's loss on an unusual suspect. He said his players were too distracted by the nationwide release of a particular video game earlier that week. Not only was this game distracting a football team in Kentucky, but it has spread around the world as well. Warning, this story contains graphic violence from the video game that may not be appropriate for young viewers. This may look like your average bedroom, but with the click of a button, it becomes a war zone. Released in early November, the newest version of the Call of Duty franchise has filled many homes with the clamor of combat. It's basically a way to be in the war, but not in the war. I mean, it's, it's intense. The game has become so popular that other companies have teamed up with the franchise, offering incentives toward online gameplay to buy their products. As a matter of fact, in its first five days, the game tallied $775 million in sales, something no book, movie, or video game has ever done. Uh, I've noticed it just from in my family. I've had cousins, even in their mid-30s, ask me if I've played and they, that they've played and they've liked it. Experts say this game is certainly more complex than the video games these men may have grown up playing. What's making it more and more popular with each release is the same thing that's driving the whole video game industry, which is this move towards multiplayer games and cooperative play. <laughs> Stop this stereotype of gaming as being something that people do alone in, the, in dark basements without interacting with other people is really not, not reflective of, of the industry now. Gaming is extremely social. You know, it adds a different dimension when you can play with other people and the gameplay is still just as good or even better. Whether you play just for fun or to win, yeah, I'm with millions online, chances are there's a suitable enemy for any soldier. I'm Brian General reporting for Studio One. A study by the Entertainment Software Association shows the average age of a gamer in the United States is 37. 